Hello boys and girls and welcome back to the channel. Dave here and I have another unboxing and review test. I mentioned in one of my other videos that my neighbor has a security system that really intrigued me and I ended up finding out what the company name was and I ended up uh, ordering pretty much the same thing they, they did except for I went a step above and I contacted the company uh, to see if I could get some freebies to give to you guys or something like that. Well, they were awesome enough that they have actually set up a discount code for you guys. Uh, and it's actually 25% off until January 1st. Uh, so if you guys do end up being interested in that, there will be links down below. I just want to get that uh, out of the way right off the bat. Uh, this is not a paid sponsorship. Da -da -da -da. I did end up paying for these. One of them, I'm not real sure how I'm going to end up using it. I know that I'm going to end up using it in the garage as an overhead camera. Uh, the other set, which will be a separate video, is actually a doorbell camera. And also I'm going to use it for my, the back of my place with me having uh, all of the tools and everything that I have in my garage, along with my electric gear being scooter, bike, things like that. Security is kind of important to me right now, especially since things have been kind of weird in the world. And uh, I live in a good area, but things have been getting kind of janky and stuff around here. And people been being broken into. I want to make sure that I'm safe. My family is safe. My stuff is safe. That's the most important part stuff <laughs> uh okay so today we're going to be taking a look at the newy 360 cam 2 this actually records in 2k a couple things i want to get out of the way they do have a paid service uh, where the videos and stuff can be uploaded to the cloud you can do live monitoring through wi-fi to the cameras from anywhere in the world uh, which is cool uh, but you can also load a micro SD card into these and record directly and not pay the monthly fee. It is up to you. I'm choosing not to do the monthly fee. Uh, I'll have um, the micro SD and I, if I want to, I can actually set up a receiver to my PC where it records, uh, you know, remotely to my PC so that it's safe there. Um, but I do recommend one of the two options. I've cracked the plastic seal that's on the top. That's about it. Uh, but I haven't taken the plastic out. I haven't taken a look at it. They did have a version of this and it was version one. Uh, and I think it recorded in 1080 or something like that. And this one is in 2K, which is cool. It's not 4K, but it works. This does work with Google. It does work with Alexa. I don't use either one of those right now. Uh, I had an Alexa and it, she kept going off and I had that whole laughing issue that everybody was dealing with like late in the morning and so she went bye bye so let's take a look at what all comes in the box and i'm going to try and do a setup and test for you guys as well so stick around for that we'll do the regular overhead shot show you what all comes in the package all right boys and girls so here we are with the packaging uh, i'm going to peel this off because well you know clear plastic bright camera lights they don't work well um so yeah this is the newy 360 cam two a 2k security camera with motion tracking so yes you can control it make it rotate um it's not quite 360 from the information that i've ended up seeing it's more like 350 uh so it doesn't rotate completely around so we'll get that out of the way um let's see here 2k full hd resolution pan tilt control motion detection two-way audio cloud and store locally night vision uh, sonic sensor alerts and i'm not sure how that ends up working i'm not really concerned with that because my neighbors are crazy and they will sit in their car bumping rap music at all hours and so that set that off all the time uh one year limited warranty a smart device capability um, and the box contains the cam the power cable power adapter mount bracket and instructions taking a look at the other side and the other side, it gives you some dimensions and compatibility. Uh, this right here, the temperature is the only thing. And I don't think my garage actually, cause this is where I'm mounting it. I don't think the garage actually gets that hot, but living in Fresno, it does reach 115 to 120 sometimes. So I'm hoping that that doesn't end up being an issue, but we'll see. Cracking open the package. 
you get a booklet and uh empty box top uh i'm assuming that's the camera you get i'm assuming these are stickers so that people know that you have a security system personally myself i don't like advertising that i have a security system because then people know you have a security system i know it's kind of stupid but get out what are you david it would help if you got into the finger come on Ugh, this is like a chinese finger trap i can't get my finger in there get out it is in there tight all right let's get rid of the box and I'm assuming these are all the accessories. Get rid of that box. All right. Hey, you know me, I'm professional. I just rip stuff open. Okay, so here is your USB uh, to AC power adapter. Uh, this looks like it's going to be for mounting on the wall or something. Your USB cable. So that's kind of interesting. So it actually has an angled, um, what, where are these? The micro? The micro USBs? So it's not USB-C. Which is fine. Uh, this one I'm not even going to open. It's just screws and stuff that go with that. And you get the camera itself. It does come in a couple of different colors. Um, I do like the black one though. And I'm assuming... Whoa, peel off the little freshie. There is your camera lens. And I'm assuming that's a microphone right there. Let's see, can I get you any closer? No, that's as close as you get. Now, one thing I did end up seeing and a lot of people were confused. So let me fix that confusion. If you softly rotate the lens up, you actually have your SD card slot. That's right here. It's nowhere else on here. It's just right there. So that makes it uh, convenient and also well, kind of hideable. Rotation feels smooth. You get a QR code down on here, which is going to be able to connect uh, to the app, which I will show you here in a second. Uh, you do get, I'm assuming that's a reset button. It's either that or LED. Uh, light branding, like it's not smattered with branding. That's how I didn't know what security system they ended up having. Uh, again, we got the stickers. Let's get that out of here. And uh, I wish I'd do regular books. So let's see, vertical, horizontal rotation, a speaker. It's got a speaker here on the side. Um, I guess that's if you're wanting to, hey, get away from my shit, kids. Um, you can use it for that. Uh, microphone, status light in the front. Uh, yeah, that's a reset button at the back. Uh, wall or ceiling mount. Uh, customer care, warranty, 12 months, set up with the Nui app. Uh, caution, keep away from children, blah, blah, blah. Light uh, indications, solid red light uh, is on initializing, flashing. Um, and then you end up getting in, looks like French and German. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find an SD card. We're going to stick it in here. I'm going to make sure it doesn't have anything uh, questionable on it. And we're going to play around with this. So give me a second. All right. So I have the app up and running and the app is really simple. You just input your email, phone number, or actually it's just your name, your email. It'll ask you some questions. Uh, it'll send you a code to your email. You put in that code and it starts the act uh, activation for your account. Um, and I figured I'd just show you guys putting in the card. So I have a card here. And it's going to go with basically your reader part down label up. And I would put in the card before you end up starting it up. Uh, I am plugging in the cable here and we're going to plug it in the socket right over here. All right. So we got a little red LED on there and let's add a device. I'm going to assume this is the Nui 360. You can see it's kind of doing its own calibration thing. So it's gone through like a self calibration, which is cool. 
Uh, red light is flashing, which it is. So we're going to hit that. Uh, turn on location permissions. Uh, retrieve your Wi-Fi automatically. So we're going to take you out of that. All right. So I did not need you all seeing my uh, Wi-Fi password. Um, let's see here. When place the QR code in front of the camera, a distance of four to eight inches. When the LED uh, turns steady white, please go to next step. All right. Well, that was quick. Pairing, please wait. Honestly, if this works this quickly and this well, um, and just the connection factor, like I have more issues with my GoPro trying to connect it to my phone than anything else. And it says connected. All right, so it plays a little chime. <clears throat> To reduce uh, risk of injury, read all safety information. Uh, do not place the unit within uh, arm's reach of your baby. Uh, strangulation hazard. Um, indoor use only. Do not expose to moisture, water, dust, and excessive heat. Okay, we got that. Name your camera. Uh, overhead, because that's where it's going to go. A device may capture information containing image, voice of yourself, others, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Don't need to see that again. All right. Well, there we go. All right. Uh, um, so far. Wow. Okay. Like as soon as I'm hitting that, it is literally. That is a pretty damn cool. So there is a limitation as far as down, but that's fine. Um, let's see here. We'll go to camera. Allow. And. Let's do this. So it's recording. And I guess you can manually record it. Okay, we'll stop that. View playback. Nothing happened today. Oh, because there's no triggers or anything. Okay. <clears throat> Motion tracking. That's what I'm curious about. Oh, okay. So here we are. Come on, follow, follow, follow. Okay, I realize you're... Are you wanting to track me? So I'm guessing as it gets to the edge it starts to track. I have to say the picture is actually pretty damn good. It's picking up everything. All right. What other settings have we got in here? We got motion tracking. What do we got under here? Audio recording, rotate image. I will have to do that when I mount it to the ceiling downstairs, uh, d down there, but um, night vision on auto startup sound okay detection motion detection mm. I can do that let's say medium I'm more concerned if my garage door pops open uh, detection zone. Oh, uh, okay. So we'll set that up once it's in the garage. Uh, sound detection. We'll leave that off. Supported with those storage. 
Um, I want on loop recording. Okay, so that's good. Wait, what did I say? Device uh, overheard motion detected. Okay. And yeah. Let's go back. Guys, um, I am, I'm, um, I'm actually, I, honestly, at the price point, I'm honestly surprised. Like, I know that they use it next door, but I didn't know the quality. Like, because it's, it's really affordable. And especially, um, let me look at device, uh, overheard motion detected, overhead motion detected. All right, I might need to turn down that sensitivity. Like, because every time I move, it's it's tracking me. And I don't know if I actually need that or, you know what? Given the view of that, I don't think I need the motion. Let me turn off the motion tracking for right now. Because once I get mounted in the, in the garage uh, as the overhead, I think with the angle that it has and everything, it's going to capture it just fine, uh, which is going to be what I need. And I think it constantly records on a, you know, a constant loop. So that is going to be good. Uh, what can we do? Sharing enter user account. Oh, I guess you can share with other people. Uh, maybe if they have accounts, I'm surprised. Like the picture quality looks good. Uh, I don't know about sound. I don't really care about sound. Uh, I am more wanting to capture people thieving at my house. Uh, I'm going to give you guys an update of this, uh, when I do the unboxing and setup of the doorbell security system and everything and let you know how that worked out. That'll probably be in about a week uh, that I end up doing that video uh, or putting up that video. And at the end of it, I'll give you my thoughts and impressions after about a week of using this. Um, but I am highly, highly pleased and surprised by this. Um, as I said in the very beginning, there is going to be a link uh, down below Sorry, things acting weird. Uh, not the camera, my computer. Um, there is going to be a link down below. And it's going to have uh, two links on there. And one is to the Pro Cam, Pro Cam, which is the other system that I have. And then uh, one to this one. It's 25% off. And the code is uh, newe 360 c 2 with a capital N. There are going to be links to the site and also their uh, page on Amazon. I believe that the discount only works uh, over on the, well, let me make sure. Why don't I click the link and find out, Dave? Yeah, so the discount only works on the website, which is fine. I want to thank you guys all for tuning in. Definitely stay tuned. When you see the next video come up for the ProCam uh, system, at the end of it, I'll have an update of how this has ended up working. And uh, I may put some clips of like me breaking stuff out there and see if it captures it. This may be to my detriment when I'm trying to sneak stuff in under the wife's radar. And it's going to catch me. Don't tell her. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I love each and every one of you. Thank you for your support. Thanks for watching this video. Again, links will be down below with the discount codes. Check them out. Um, if you don't like them, they have warranties, send them back, but uh, I'm keeping this one unless it starts smoking or something goes bad. I'm keeping this one. Um, reminder, if you do, uh, end up using this and you flip it upside down, like I'm planning to the mount, there is a setting in there to invert the image. Uh, you want to end up doing that. Otherwise you end up, Hey, yeah. All right. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Have a good one. Peace. All right, guys, you thought you were done with me. No, no. So I actually went down and I set up the camera. I don't have it mounted to the ceiling, which would be up here. Uh, I actually have it sitting on the plate of my drill press. So this is the live view. And this is with no lights coming in. Um, other than there's a little bit of light from where someone backed into my garage door. Neighbors. Jackasses. Um, but this is almost almost all the way against this wall that would be in my garage. Um, so you can see that wall, the table saw,
Will it center it if I do that? No? Okay. So, um, that's going to work perfect once it's mounted up on the uh, ceiling and uh, kind of an angled down point. That's going to catch my whole garage. My point is to keep an eye because my scooter sits there and then they'll be replaced with a bike and then all of my expensive tools and stuff are sitting right here. The table saw, all that stuff. Um, this is going to work freaking perfect. Uh, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's it's going to do what I need it to. If anything ends up happening, I'll have video to uh, show to the police and the insurance company. And yeah, um, just buy it. Just buy it at 25% off of the regular price. Just buy it. I, I'm hoping that the, the doorbell for the uh, front door and for the back door is going to be just as good as this. If it is, I am a happy camper and money well spent. All right, that's it. I'm out. Peace.